All right, we're just getting this bad boy back to Salem, Virginia, and uh, the new Caracal STS. Let's check this thing out, man. I'm uh, kind of excited. We'll just do a little run through and, and check it out. Bam, there she is, the new Caracal STS. Um, just got it in the uh, the garage, as you can see. She's pretty, got a few different changes. Uh, I'm gonna walk through it, kind of show you the different changes and what it is all about. And conveniently, for you guys, not for me, uh, I've still got my, my 2023 here my Puma STS. Uh, I've got a couple deals working, but it is still in the garage here. So you can kind of see the Puma STS. And then there's the Caracal STS. And I'll tell you a couple of the differences, you know, kind of as I go through it. But I'm going to flip it around and uh, we'll kind of walk through it. Well, let's talk about the, the, what's, what's the same. As you can see, red power poles, Mercury 250 tandem axle trailer this one has the silver accent bass wheels the 18 inch bass wheels now my one last year had the black so you can either get that option or you can get that option you can get the blackout option or you can get the silver option that's one uh one thing that i love those i love the little uh the 18 inch wheels with the bass on them uh, but you can see that's that's one difference right there off the bat and uh, this year, I will be running the Bob's jack plate. I love how the Bob's has the black uh, accent. It just fits with the whole motif. Um, I, the Bob's was the very first jack plate I ever had. And um, that's what, what I'll be running this year. I'll talk more about that later. But let's talk more about this Caracal. As you can see, the deck on it is kind of walking through going to have the 52 inch power pole move again very light super strong powerful trolling motor i'm going to do that i'll explain why i've got that later but let's get up in here and like look at a few of the differences well as you as you go up here you'll see the flooring is different the reflex flooring has this cool 2d sonar pattern it's got the different drain in the bottom but let me let me show you one one cool difference that I really like is that the drain has a little vent right here and then the channel that that goes along here can drain behind there so you're gonna have zero standing water in the bottom of this boat once you uh, you have a little bit of water in here uh, zero standing and then up you know while we're down here I've got the Bob's machine foot throttle and I love the black powder coat on that or an anodization. I don't know exactly what it is, but it's all blacked out, son. It's murdered out. I love that. The dash is a little bit different. Um, you can see that it's more squared off. That is very cool. That is, is, is very nice. I don't have any electronics rigged out just yet, um, but I put two of these balls out mounts on there, but I don't think I'm going to run those. I've got another option that I'll show you here in a minute, uh, and it's going to go right there. So you'll, you'll see that uh, we'll talk more about that as I, I get the boat rigged out. But let's go up here to the front and look here. You know, um, you know, once you're up here on the front, it's nice and wide. This boat is 20 feet, 2 inches wide. You can see that this area, I feel like, is very similar with feel and all to the, to the Puma STS. But, you know typical for the Caracal model there's a day box right up here so you can put you know whatever baits and things and you know a couple bags of whatever that you're fishing with you don't have to open up the big boxes you can just see that is that is that right there uh, 
So as you can see that, that box is really handy. And I'm gonna just move that and you can see that there's, there's two boxes, one big box, the two rod lockers. I mean, this is just as the first look here. So we're just, just getting in here, see what we got. We have one box goes up there a little bit. That's, that's gonna be handy. Probably more of my hard baits up there. We'll see once we get it rigged out. There's the net scabbard. Goes back yonder way. I'm not sure how I'm gonna use that yet because that's not a waterproof box. Doesn't get super soaked, but it gets wet. And here's the big compartment. Probably have most of my soft plastics here. Uh, I can probably do side by side with my soft plastics down through the bottom. Up here, we've got more of like a day box that's under the net scabbard there. So we'll see. Uh, we'll see what I end up coming up with to configure that. Um, not doesn't look like quite as much storage on the front deck as my Puma STS. And just so you know, this right up here. Let me look at the step right right quick, and we'll show you. So the step cooler here. Uh, looks to be completely waterproof. So either you can use that as a cooler. I've got my decals in there and some other random stuff. Uh, either you can use that as storage, which I may use that as storage, or can use that for a cooler. Oh, and the other big thing, these lit, these latches, they went away from the uh, the other ones, went back to the old school the old school latches that uh, work tried and true. There's the the passenger side rod locker. And got a few random stuff in there. Doesn't look much smaller. I mean, we're talking maybe a tick smaller than the Puma STS. And then you'll see on the other side over here. Uh, uh, uh. Pretty, pretty good size. I can put all the same stuff that I had in the other boat in here. Uh, I'm pretty sure all that's going to work. So that'll be cool. And then you can see that they went ahead and, and moved the pliers storage over here. I like this a lot. I think that's very functional. It's not here anymore. It's not going to trip over that. That's not going to be an issue. Um, so let's, uh, let's flip this around. All right, so just looking at the front of the boat this front deck from here up is about uh four inches shorter than on the puma sts the boat in total is five inches shorter um i was told that it's 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 the same platform it's not the same platform it's a it's a little bit shorter than the puma sts i mean it's a five inch shorter boat but it's about four inches shorter of the surface you know this from here to that front carpet up at the front about that so I, I that'll be fine for me but um just so you know that's that's the big difference on it um but you know and then just standing up on it and looking at it again it's wide and it's short i really like it i really like it so far just looking at it but let's let's continue looking through the box so just like the puma sts it's got under seat storage uh really close to the same size as the puma the cooler is about the same. The uh, I like it because they get way back up under there. It's a really big cooler there in between the seats. Again, that's that's about the same. Uh, I showed you the con I showed you the the new console there. I like that. Basket with their fiberglass. Dude, that thing is rock solid. Rolk. Live wells. Same size, big, huge, triangular. Uh, got the double on there. Love that logo in there. That's cool. Uh, but that's we're gonna put the fish line in there later. Got a lot of rigging to do on this boat. Here's the behind the seat compartments. These look really similar to the same size as the the Puma STS. And then it's got the same little compartments here where you can put your put some storage in there. Get to your power pole pumps uh, down in there. Bam and bam. 
Now here's a big here's a big difference. These these compartment lids are much smaller than the Puma STS. I think I think there was just um, maybe like an inch or two shorter back deck. Uh, I think it's about a two inch shorter back deck. Not a huge difference there, but I don't even have my batteries rigged in here. I got my lithium pros over there. Um, two, it says on the top of them, they're 27 gallon tanks. Uh, so you could probably put 25, 26 gallons in there. It's got that, that little step on each side that you can, that you can, uh, you know, put rigging stuff. I'll probably put my power pole charge over there more than likely. I'll put that over there. Uh, you know, areas for your batteries, fish long go over there as well. Um, then you can see like all bass cats easily going to be able to get to all of your pumps and your auto bilge. So if you ever have any issues with that, uh, you can, you can grab to that and you can also see where the, the two through hull transducers are mounted down there in the bottom, right where they're supposed to be. Um, they are very well placed. Uh, bass cat does a really good job of rigging. There's your fuel switch from left to right on your two 27 gallon tanks. But yeah, that's the, uh, this is the Kirka. I'm, I'm digging it. I'm digging it so far. Uh, once you get out there and we get, get to riding in it, uh, we'll be able to tell all of the major differences, but, uh, the latches on there are different, different configuration, different console, uh, different plier storage, uh, another wheel option. Um, a lot of, a lot of differences up here. Now oh, here's the something cool I didn't show you before. Got this the new clamshell for all your wires to come out. So big hole there, see so all your wires can come out of one spot and it'll look nice and clean. Basket does the battery tender. This is the way to connect, very, very rugged. Um, I've got some ridiculousness that's going up there. So let's kind of give you a little sneak peek. We're gonna do a whole rigging video or multiple videos. Gonna show you a bunch of different stuff. Um, I got a lot of my components in here, battery compart battery trays, all kind of stuff. Power pole charge is going to go on it. Uh, I got my Garmin's in here. You'll get to see exactly which units those are and why. Power lithium Pros, serious batteries. You got the, this is the 36. Got the 12 volt back here. Get to see those. This is the the bar that we're going to mount our our two graphs to at the console you get to see that courtesy of mr rick pierce thank you rick and look at this now look at this ridiculousness it's a little sneak peek for you boys and girls there it is the 22 inch battleship that ridiculousness is going to go up on the front uh because i'm, I'm getting older I'm getting older eyes aren't quite what they used to be so I'm gonna be going with this ridiculousness of the 22 inch battleship on this MBT Marine. I'll explain all of that and how it works uh, in future videos, but this is just kind of the initial walkthrough. Um, if you guys have any questions on the Caracal, I have not run it yet as of this video. I have not run it yet. I uh, hope to do that here fairly soon. Uh, we got some rigging to do before we're even ready to put that thing in the water. Uh, got a lot of electronics things to do. Gotta put my batteries in, get those hooked up. So we got a couple days of work and I uh, appreciate everybody watching. As always, if you wanna um, ask me any questions up to this point, uh, I'll be sure to try to answer them as best I can. And uh, if you wanna see any comparisons between this and the Puma, better do it quick because this Puma is getting ready to get out of here. I'm uh, working with a couple guys that are pretty serious about it, but there she is right there. Straight from Mountain Home, Arkansas. There she is unwrapped and ready for action.